At this point, we're ready to replace the seals. There's a total of six, but there's three high pressure seals and three low pressure seals. Your low pressure seals are much softer than your high pressure seals, they're a lot stiffer. To put in the high pressure seals, you're gonna to wanna to go groove face down, and you can see that the seal has kind of a lip on it. That lip is kind of what gives it pressure against the sidewall to help contain the pressure. We're gonna go down in the hole, at a slight angle and we're just going to push that lip in. Sometimes you can use a small screwdriver to just push that lip in a little bit and then push the seal down. And once that lip is underneath there, we can push the seal the rest of the way in. And our seal's in place. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our white spacer, we're gonna put it directly on top of the high pressure seal. Take, there's a little groove for that to fit in. Now before we put these guys in, I'm gonna apply a little bit of lubrication on the outside ring. And I can set that in there. Now our three low pressure seals. Again, flat side is gonna face up. We're gonna go down at an angle. A Little easier to push in because they're softer. All right, no need to, see, to apply any sealant to these parts. Water is gonna lubricate your pump when it's in operation. You don't need grease or any lubricant on the pistons. 